All right, YouTube, today we're doing a VOD session on the first match of the CDL season for MW3. We're talking about the Atlanta phase versus Boston matchup, specifically the map one. This is a pretty winnable map for Boston. They actually hung in with Atlanta in the series the entire way. But honestly, there were some really important moments throughout the series that could have gone their way. And we're going to key in and detail some moments in the map one that could have gone their way and some things that you know worked well, some things, unfortunately, that didn't work well, and just break down and analyze some crotchy hardpoint stuff as we go through the VOD, so let's get right into it. Okay, so one of the big things I want to talk about were the P3s for Karachi uh, for Boston here. This was basically holding them in this entire game. They basically got two full 60s on this point with Atlanta barely even touching the point. So that's how they made their points in this first map. And as you'll see here, this is how they rotate to it. So obviously you have phase on old. And since this useless area or what we call useless over here, this is going to be a really heavy contested part of the map for these P3 rotations specifically because if you're off old a lot of teams will take that shortest route to just try and break on in if they can get a few kills they start pressuring over here and then they can set up a break uh, when they have this initial map positioning over here maybe start spawning the other team out if they get uh, you know another person on the other side but you'll see a lot of gunfights over here it's just a highly contested area and if you're the holding team you know the one that with that p3 rotation uh, and you can get some kills over here as the time's winding down you get that first wave and it's just a pretty easy hold from there on out so i'll show you how it ends up going uh in this specific rotation so as you can see here atlanta's trying to break from this useless red side uh you have slasher who's playing his life over here top red trying to get any stragglers who might be you know trying to filter through that way rather than go low red like number two and number four here in this situation so as you see austin he's playing kind of like a late angle where he can kind of pop up and see as you can see here he just pops up sees if he can find anyone that might be trying to hit it through late but as you'll see now they still have this control of this useless area and he actually does win a huge gunfight on a bz here so he does get that kill they know that they have all the players accounted for for phase so now that the hill is popping for p3 uh, they're going to try and get this first wave of kills and as you can see atlanta phase once again is going to try and hit through this red area try and get useless control but snoopy is able to get a few shots slash is able to get the trade and he's able to get a two-piece really big two-piece so uh, a good job on boston for playing off each other you know even though snoopy dies uh slasher is able to get the trade on in and you know he even picks up the sub here he can now change his angles because he got that first wave for the team he can now get pushed up into another different corner as you see he's going to get a free kill on a bz here with the sub and i didn't even mention but capsule also wins a one-on-one -on -one gunfight on the other side of the map so now that they have both sides pushed out they really can you know get a good chunk of time on this p3 and so slasher gets that kill there he gets traded out but once again snoopy refills this and he's able to play his life get another kill so as you see see it with this situation they're all pushed out on the lanes here mid right side left side everything is accounted for and since it's you know 30 seconds left they can just soak time just make sure you know they're calling out that there's possibility that they can spawn in the deep back uh, behind number six over here so you know that's just something you can account for but what happens here is now that you've you've got the first 30 seconds you've gotten kills here you can start soaking this time making sure you play for anyone that's spawning out like that but you can also have a good setup onto some type of breaking situation onto this fountain p4 hill and that's what's going to happen here you know snoopy is going to try and take some space over here he doesn't win the gunfight but with that gunfight it kind of creates a distraction for capsule over here he's going to create a little bit of map pressure and get some you know spacing on the map here already get set up for p4 over here and as you can see here they're still soaking time uh, these guys are pushed up they're now spawning useless so they can have you know some really good free reign roams towards this ticket side to try and break on in to this p4 now that capsule died so as you can see here you know capsule is going to spawn at old here but they're still able to put some more pressure on this is all free plays you know they're still soaking this old time so any plays that they can make here or snoopy can make here is just free extra icing on the cake you know if you watch nfl football you know if the defense goes off sides the offense has kind of like a free play where they can just shoot it down the field uh, because there's no risk to it because they know no matter what they're going to have that opponent flag that will benefit them regardless so as you can see here they're benefiting regardless because they're still soaking time so any of this is just extra map pressure that they can create we'll move on to the second p3 now as you can see here once again boston is down 30 points so once again they're rotating a little bit early making sure that they just hold this money hill karachi p3 and once again just like you saw before highly contested area you're going to see these atlanta phase members trying to group up over here you're also going to see boston trying to create like a little cross setup and make sure that they're trying to get some type of info on where the pressure is coming from but most of the time as i said before if they're coming off of old time they're going to be pressuring this red side so 
as you see, Atlanta phase groups up here. Number one, draws it. He's going to be trying to make a play on the other side of the map as well. He gets some shots off, but doesn't actually get the kill. So I believe number five actually gets this kill on number one here. So that's a really important kill. Uh, I'll show you that right now. Yeah, he does actually get this kill. So now that uh, number one is dead, they can just focus all their attention on this red side. So these trades go down towards this red side. And number five, Snoopy gets his kill. And that allows him to take a really nice route into red to try and flank these guys towards this useless side. As you can see, you know, these two guys towards this red side get these kills useless, but now they have Snoopy right on their back pinching them so he can get a free kill on this setup. And number three also dies from number six who is spawning the back two. So number seven spawns out towards this red side. And now since they're spawning towards that side, they know where the pressure from Atlanta phase is coming from for this next opponent break. And since they got that first wave, that's all they need to do. They just have to react to that pressure. As you can see, they all know that they're going to be coming towards this coop slash middle side. Number seven slasher here. All he needs to do is watch this mid cut and maybe see any info top three. He actually doesn't catch number two Abizi over here, but he can just play reinforcements. Uh, as you see here, he actually doesn't win the gunfight on simp. But what do you know? You know, these guys, now that they know they're all coming from coop slash mid cut, uh, they can play super tight on this hill. Look at this setup. Capsule is hiding himself from hill. Number six has his mid cut and number five Snoopy here has any close push. And it's a really deep corner that they're going to have to overextend uh, to try and get any sort of kill on him. And what happens here is, you know, Abizi doesn't even check the corner because it's so, you know, unlikely for him to play that. He gets a free kill. Uh, number six, Priest is playing on top of that wall. He can get another free kill on number one. Some other trades go down over here. And then as you see here, Slasher spawns up and now he's able to cut this mid cross for uh, Priesta on time so he can get this kill, get this help on Priesta before he dies. And now Priesta is going to be able to soak this extra 20 seconds. So what do you know? They're soaking once again, getting a lot of time on these P3s. And that's how they really made this game close. So as I was saying before, you get this old time. If you spawn out, now you have some free roam to try and get some, you know, free break opportunities on in as you're trying to soak this time. You know, they do know that one is still left alive. They're going to try and look for him, sell here. You know, Slasher doesn't win the gunfight, but Priest is able to get this trade. So, you know, Slasher doesn't die for nothing. He gets that trade. You know, that's a good 15 seconds while the rest of your team is already starting to break on in. So once again, free plays, free map control for Capsule uh, and Snoopy trying to get some type of kills towards his P4. And as you see, number four even spawns out because these guys took some, you know, super deep routes uh, and actually started blocking some spawns. And now Breach has, you know, a pretty decent setup on trying to break this hill. Capsule gets a freebie here. Snoopy's going to come down low cash and try and get another kill on hill he actually gets that kill as well so once he dies over here they know there's only one guy left on time they get this trade and what do you know hill pops they already have kill control atlanta phase is spawning out and now this is opportunity for them to get another set of points and chain a really big money hill with another hill uh you know in a really dire moments of the game where they were basically you know down by 30 going into that previous hill so now this is a decent setup for them they can start breaking on in but the big thing i want to talk about here is they were able to hold that big money hill and all they need to do was just make this mixy even if they get broken here which i believe they do unfortunate team nade by not letting atlanta phase you know get that initial hold and an initial wave they're able to actually make this mixy and have a chance later on in the game so i just wanted to note that even though they get broken on here by phase uh, it was still a really good way to basically deny them you know 30 seconds of hill time so lastly i want to talk about this final p5 to p1 because i think this was probably the turning point of the game obviously Obviously, it was coming down to the final few hills, but I want to showcase some really good plays and some really, you know, unfortunate plays for the Boston Breach. So right here, this is a P5 hold. They get the early rotation to it, as I was talking about before. They get broken on in on that P4. So this is a chance for them to, you know, really take control of this game by holding this P5. And as you'll see here, you know, they have a decent setup. You know, one guy back alley, uh, two guys top red, one guy on the single side and one guy on the double side, and then one guy in hill. So I want to talk and showcase uh, basically what FaZe is doing here. So phase instead of you know just hitting through red or hitting through bus taking short routes to the hill they're taking these longer routes you know making sure that boston has to take account for all the different angles that they can be broken from so this is a really nice play out of phase here by trying to take different angles making sure that they're not just like brute forcing their way through one part of the hill they're taking some routes making sure that they're taking different angles to try and break this so with this route simp is able to get a huge number one kill on snoopy as soon as the hill pops that creates a little bit of space for phase because now they can and start using teamwork to try and break on in uh, but what happens here is capsule is able to get a nice you know freebie easy kill in red snoopy's going to spawn out so since slasher knows his useless is being contested he's going to try and take another angle towards this bus side look towards you know bottom arches or 
something. He doesn't know that obviously that two people are taking that route towards useless and that the last guy on the other side is uh, number four here taking a back alley route. So he's going to try and get another freebie kill as soon as Capsule gets his kill, but he doesn't see anything. And what he's going to try and do is going to soak time. But as you'll see here, he sees two people, gets some shots off and instantly dips. He knows that he is compromised in this situation. He's going to try and have Capsule help him out. As you see, you know, number eight over here, he's going to try and work with his teammates to stay alive. You know, it's really important a lot of times just to stay alive in these situations, even though you're not challenging, getting a kill, trying to get a trade, you're staying alive. He's trying to bait out uh, the rest of the team to get him. And what he does here is he escapes the hill, takes another angle, kills a BZ for free here, and he jumps back on the hill, gets some shots on Simp. He actually picks up a sub here, and, and now he's just, you know, really holding this hill just with a sub. I really like the way he plays this because he knows that this other guy is probably going to hit his back door. So he's going to try and chow that with a sub, try and get something for this because the rest of his team died. So he's just trying to get something for it. He knows that the rest of the reinforcements for phase are coming on in. So he just wants to, you know, deny as much time as possible. So I actually really do uh, like that play. He buys some time, you know, Carissa comes up spawn, gets a kill. And now what he does is since he plays his life, towards useless side he's going to now converge with his team uh, while the rest of the guys are coming on in timing it with the rest of his team he gets another huge kill on selium there with the sub snoopy is able to get another kill too so what he was doing is just playing to delay phase from getting on time but also making sure that he plays his life to make sure that the rest of his reinforcements of boston can try and converge on the hill with him so really really nice play out of austin a uh, really good job of picking up the sub there and just being super ratty uh, with that sub especially in that p5 hill super close quarters so i actually really really enjoyed that play and now what happens here is they're going to able to set up on time they know that the phase is going to be towards this back alley slash long area so they can just play for that and now they can you know hold a good 25 seconds on this hill so phase is going to group up and try and break on in with this last 20 seconds because in their mind if they can get this good 20 seconds uh, off of old time they can also start working towards that p1 and especially if cell wins a gunfight over here they can have some really good initial control towards that other side of the map and as you'll see here they start banging out old time slasher gets one kill here really nice kill capsule gets another but simp is able to trade on in get some time and unfortunately for capsule here he just doesn't know uh, which corner simp is in uh, playing this so simp sees him contesting on time and capsule just backs off but i want to talk about what happened on the other side of the map this is a huge one-on-one -on -one because priesta here if he wins this gunfight uh he has some really nice initial control for this next hill because if you can win this one-on-one -on -one gunfight and lock down this bridge side you can basically tell your teammates all you need to watch in terms of you know holding this next p1 is going to be you know this mid cut and red everything else i pretty much have because i'll have your, your top balk i'll have your ac i'll have your mid cut everything else on that left side of the map if you're you know we're orientating ourselves uh from this you know p3 side uh you're basically going to have so the rest of your team can just focus on those other areas so priesta actually does lose this gunfight to sell so a huge one-on-one -on -one gunfight sell wins i just know that that was a huge gunfight and as you can see here number one even spawns a number Number four so they have some initial control towards that side of the map so even though you know boston might try and take some gunfights here you know snoopy has to back off from that uh atlanta phase is on old as well and as you see here snoopy's going to try and take some map pressure uh towards the middle of the map and he's able to get through with no one seeing him and is able to get a huge kill on simp unfortunately he does get traded out but this now causes a distraction here for capsule who's by this bus side and he can start making some plays toward this middle of the map and make sure that this hill time stays white so the phase is not soaking this as you'll see here flasher actually wins a huge gunfight over towards selium uh you know Cell should win this gunfight if he's looking for it, but unfortunately, he's not looking for that gunfight. So Slasher wins that huge one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Just like I was saying before, if Slasher is holding this, he can hold this entire left side of the map for his team. And now that they're able to get number one on time because they're just converging on him, Capsule is able to soak time. And what happens here is, you know, you're basically tied. You know, actually, you're up three points with 46 seconds left. You have this left side of the map. Austin is already covering it for you. You just need to look towards, you know, your mid cut in red. Unfortunately for Capsule, he does get naded by a bz here what happens here snoopy's able to get a huge kill top plat priest is going to get a huge kill towards red side and now you know they're all spawning either towards you know this back tiner or back castle area and you can start holding this time you know 30 seconds left from winning you win off this time with 36 seconds left on this hill and as you see here atlanta phase actually uses the streak because they know they have to break on into this to actually you know keep themselves in the game but as you'll see here capsule takes a really nice route low arches he's able to kill number one for free and priest 
Batista unfortunately dies on time, even with the trophy. Atlanta obviously threw their tax, so the trophy couldn't block that cruise missile. So phase breaks on in. Unfortunately, Austin on this left side also loses a big gunfight. Really bad timing, trying to look mid cut as soon as number two comes. So BZ wins that gunfight. And what happens here is they're able to get another kill on capsule. So phase is looking really, really good right here because they get this kill on capsule. They know that it's three down and they're just looking for Snoopy who was in the middle of the map. And now that they can start soaking time. So that, you know, cruise missile was really, really good and really worth it. But what do you know here? Snoopy, the last guy live gets a huge trade on Celium and is able to get a two piece on the guy on time. But what happens here? He's going to try and go and look towards this number three kill simp who had just killed capsule. So capsule probably called out right away that uh, simp was at this bus stop after he died towards this position and Snoopy tries to go for this kill and in my opinion for what it's worth I think you know he gets this two piece on time you just leave this guy be you know that the other guys are spawning out and you can just soak time for yourself this is a big 20 seconds you know let's say you hold this whole 20 seconds it's 248 and even if you might not have rotation to p2 that's some really good pressure to put on phase because being in a hold and having the other team have to score you know 20 points is very different from them having to score you know, just two points, you know, maybe contest a second, get a kill or something, and then just instantly win the game. So I, for what it's worth, uh, would like Snoopy to go and go towards time. This white time over here, you know that they're going to be spawning out. So you have the time to actually get on the hill. Unfortunately for them, uh, they don't get that time. And that's a good, you know, 10 to 12 seconds wasted. Uh, they are going to pick up the scrap time here. But once again, being down 212 to 239 is way different from being down 212 to, you know, 248. So uh, unfortunately, that doesn't go their way. They still do have a good opportunity to start getting some initial kills towards this P2 side. Um, unfortunately though, they don't win the gunfight back alley or win any gunfight on the hill. So now it's just, you know, let's try and break on in, set up a good break. Uh, but once again, you know, they're at 238. In my opinion, it's just way different. Uh, if it's, you know, 248, just a little bit more pressure to put on phase, especially with one guy spawning out over here. Uh, but let's see what Boston tries to do on this break. Unfortunately, Snoopy does die. You can probably say he should have just tried to wait for his team for this last opportunity to break but honestly he was just trying to get some info and unfortunately number two spawns out right behind number eight too so he's able to get a free kill on this guy number eight uh pinching so you know eight no doesn't even know where he spawns i'm assuming eight uh thinks that he spawned towards this useless side uh but unfortunately he does spawn a little bit deeper so that kind of staggers the break even more so now they're all going to spawn towards the same area one guy is going to go back alley uh they're going to try and take some other routes towards red and towards this top plat uh, but Abizi is going to make the play of the game here to go low arches over here. Make sure he has the cut for anyone that's trying to go through this long or short area. And this is just a really important trade out for Boston to get if they're going to die to him. Unfortunately, though, uh, Abizi is just going to get a huge two piece on capsule jumping down. And then you just have to try and play this trade if you're Austin. Unfortunately, he does lose the gunfight to a sub here. And uh, Priesta does get one on hill. So once again, like I was saying before, Priesta gets one on hill you know if this is 248 or 249 i think this is might play a little bit differently with him getting that kill on the hill so unfortunately you know priest here he's trying to look for a bz on that trade and a bz here he's just playing his life he's you know knows priest is looking for this trade over here after he just killed his teammate so he's just playing his life gonna pop up for one second sees that priest turns his back kills him for free and now this is just an easy hold this is just super winnable all you have to do is watch your you know back alley and long you know they're just spawning in the back here and this is just gonna be a win for the phase team so a really really close hard point some really good moments out of boston but you know some really unfortunate moments towards the end there and obviously you can probably pick out a bunch of different areas in which you know there were mistakes made or you know points that they could have had but i just want to talk about those you know final moments because that's what it came down to but again a really impressive showing for boston you know hanging in there in that map one and they also could have really won map two uh, maybe i'll do another video on uh, the map two as well but they hung in there and it was a really impressive showing for boston Austin. So thank you guys for watching this VOD session. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.